In this example, we're going to use the TVM solver, the time value of money solver on a calculator. For this, I'll be using the TI-84 calculator. So if you have a similar calculator, you should be able to follow along and find the same app on yours. The question reads, use the TVM solver on your calculator to find the present value needed if we want a future value of $5,000 in six years, if we can earn 4.3% interest compounded monthly. So this is a compound interest problem where we know the future value, we know the amount of time, the interest rate, and the compounding period, and we're looking to solve for the present value. So if we open up the calculator, we want to find the TVM solver. So we'll look under this apps button right next to the math button. And the very first option is finance. So hit enter. And the very first option there is TVM solver. Hit enter again. And we have all of these options to put in. N is the total number of compounding periods. So since we're compounding monthly for six years, we need to multiply 12 times six. Now, if we do that in our heads, we could type in 72 here, or we can just type in 12 times six and let the calculator do that for us. Then I is the percentage interest rate. Now notice that it's I percentage, so we're not going to enter it as a decimal, we'll enter it as a percentage, 4.3% interest. So we'll just type in 4.3. And that's different from what we've done in the formulas where we would type in 0 0.043, but the calculator will take care of that for us. The next line is the present value, which is the unknown part, so we'll leave that for now. We'll also leave PMT blank. We haven't talked yet about what that would be, but later on we'll see how to use PMT. FV stands for future value, and that is the piece that we're given. So we know that the future value is 5,000. And the next two lines stand for payments per year and compounding per year. In our case, the interest is compounded monthly, so we'll type in 12 for both of these. And now, to solve for the present value, scroll back up and hover over the zero there. And we want to use the solve option, which if you notice on the enter key, one of the alternate options is solve. And that's in green text, which means we need to hit the alpha key to access that. So we'll hit alpha, and notice how the cursor changes to an A. And now the enter button, when we hit that, will be accessing the solve option. So hit enter now, and the present value comes out to $3,864 and 76 cents when we round it. Notice that that's negative. The TVM solver treats payments going out as negative and payments coming in as positive. And since we wrote the future value as a positive value, this is as if we are depositing something today and receiving back a future value in six years. So that's why the present value is listed as a negative number. Don't worry too much about that. It just tells you which direction the money is moving the important part is the value, in our case, $3,864.76. If instead we wanted to solve for, let's say, future value, we could enter a present value and then use the solve option on the future value. For instance, if we wanted to deposit $2,000 today, let's say, we could go to the future value and use alpha solve and that would grow to a future value of $2,587.48. And so you can solve for any unknown piece here if you tell the solver the values of the other pieces.